go that way. Oh boy. is going so well. Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see how far I can get this time before I die. Out of the way. I wonder if I have to get past him. Is there anything over here? Pardon me. Oh, hey, I have the green key. Cool, I've been going the wrong way. Every time, apparently. <gasps> There's a boat. There's another boat. Anything to grab? It's like customs. Anything to declare? <clears throat> Sister used to say um, that anytime she crossed the border, uh, you know, we li live in Michigan, so um, we used to uh, go through Canada. A lot. Uh, I had some family in New York, so the part of New York they lived in, it was a lot faster to just cut through Canada than to drive through the states. Someone else get! Well, don't distract him. So my sister is like, yeah, every time at the customs, like anything to declare, I always want to be like, I left a massive dump at that last gas station. What? What? Someone else get! A monster's coming! Watch out! Am I going to play as him now? She going to blow that up? Okay. Oh joy. I knew you would come. You are so impressive for a mere human. I still don't know who you are. But you are late. Our dark ceremony is starting. Yumamaru will be sacrificed in front of Princess Yuki. No! Princess Yuki cherishes Yumamaru. If he is sacrificed in front of her, her sorrow will peak. Well, peak sorrow Making is her blood thing. its most delicious and strongest. Granting our Lord Nobunaga more power when he drinks it. That is why you took them? You will suffer for that! <laughs> if you were just gonna now kill them, it would have been fine, but you're killing them you to make Nobunaga more point. powerful. Not really, but I mean, why not? Switch to this because there is a blue orb. Is it your own buddy? Oh, 
Oh boy. stuff. Hitting me for a second. Do I got anything? Jeez, that's got a lot. Well, that went well. Alright, let's give this another go. Crap, wrong button. Hitting them. Die. There, that's what I wanted. A bit frustrating. Uh, all right. Not as much as I was hoping. Crap. It's not very good.
They keep on killing them. Alright, how are my other ones looking? Plenty. There might be enough in there for one. Nope, of course not. forget that I have uh, <laughs> ranged weapons. going for but it works On the mouse button, or the, the map button. Mouse. Oh my word. Ugh. I need to check to see if there's a way to stop the achievements from popping up on screen. Kill you. Hurry. Come on. Hey, I accomplished something. Yay, me. Hang on, Kaede. here for a while.
Do you make your shaking a little bit there, buddy. End. Now! Princess Yuki, Minimaru, I will save you! Alright, oh boy. I, uh, oh boy. Yep. <laughs> the next thing that hits me is going to kill me. Whew, I might have to do that boss fight again. Oh, go. Oh. <laughs> Herbs, give me herbs. Is this the way I need to go? Oh boy, screw you. Ah. <laughs> uh. This is gonna end well. How did you give me a boss fight but not have me absorb all the orbs at the end of it? No joy, another achievement. Was one of my favorite things about the PlayStation 4 is that it gave you the option to make it so achievements, or well, trophies, don't appear on screen. So I kind of forget they exist until I go to my capture gallery and it's like, oh, you have like however many uh, pictures. Like, I didn't take any pictures. So I jump over to Xbox and they're like, achievement, achievement. They're like, ugh. There's nothing wrong with them, I just don't care about them. You, you pathetic human worm. That's personal. Impressive, Impressive you've come this far, but ultimately futile since your journey ends here. Only demons can enter. You. Why don't you go back to playing with your worthless little toys? You tell him. I have no time for you. What did you say? How dare you? A mere human mock me? Fine then. It's time for you to fight my greatest creation! Oh, this isn't gonna last long. Come on, oh, hey, it's this guy again. Oh. Come on, Celes! Crush you! It's gonna have an easy time. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a small battle arena. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jeez, that's a wide swing. Hey, guess what? Take that. Oh, boy.
I don't know how he didn't hit me. He just went right through me. good for a moment. Yeah, I might need to get a bit more help before I go fight him. Alright, so that one definitely went a bit better. Uh, managed to kill bee lady without having to use any health turns out it went a lot smoother when I re remembered from the beginning that I had uh, had a gun ooh ooh I'm gonna dive into this oh you have come again hey why don't you go to the Dark Realm? Why don't I? They say that it is possible to obtain strong weapons there. If you are interested, I I hope you come back a little... Oh, crap. I'm going to have to exit and save. <laughs> the end of this game I remember the end of the second game because I'm pretty sure it's a second game they completely changed the style of the game where like the gameplay is pretty close to this there's a lot of different systems in there there's like a friend system like gift system to make your friends happy there's certain sections where I think you play as the friend wow. characters Impressive you've come this far, but ultimately futile since you basically, uh, Jubei, or Jubei, how you pronounce his name, you. controls very Why don't you go back similar to, playing to Semenosuke. Your worthless little toys? I have no time for you. What did you say? How dare you? A mere human mock me? Fine. But yeah, it's time in the second game, when you get to the final boss battle, it's like suddenly like an endless runner shooter thing where you just... He's running forward, and you're just jumping back and forth, um, shooting at the, uh, this huge monstrous thing. Crush. I think there was something similar. I think there was something similar for the, uh, geez. oh yeah. Well, I have some health items, so I should do all right. <laughs> Um. Ow. 
I think there was something similar. Um, jeez. In the end of um, the first Devil May Cry, where like suddenly you're like flying through space and um, shooting stuff at whoever. I don't want to use up all my magic. Pretty sure I have two medicines and a couple uh, herbs, so I should be all right. Just trying to absorb my souls, man. No idea if that's hurting him at all. Oh, well, this one will. Oh boy! <laughs> at the actual bad guy. Health. <laughs> Use a health. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but whatever. Someday I'd like to try to do a uh, playthrough of some of the, uh, oh jeez, the Devil May Cry games. I tell you what, that devil, this, the first game is, whew, that's a rough one to go back to sometimes. I beat it, I don't even remember how long ago, it was a handful of years ago. Actually, I think it was last year or two years ago I beat the second game for the first time. Oh, that game is just... Like, there's a lot of similarities in the gameplay. So certain parts of it are like, okay, you know, there's a good foundation. I'm not necessarily opposed to more open levels. The levels are just boring. And then they're like... Instead of these interesting combos and the awesome combat system, most of the bosses are just these things that are like far away that you just kind of sit there picking away at with your guns. It's like, yeah, that's some exciting gameplay. Oh, come to Papa. Uh, yeah, it's just where I need to go. Can I even go in there? He said something about only demons. Well, so far, so good. Ooh. Okay, so there's a tiny bit more. At least step into the demon world, see what we're looking at. But I do need to... Uh, I do need to call it an episode pretty quickly here. The, uh, the Devil May Cry series, it's like weird missteps. So like the first game comes out, it's beloved, it's an instant classic. And then the second game there, it's like, all right, let's change like everything everyone loved about the first game. Third game comes out, like, what if we took the first game and just put it in like overdrive? And suddenly it's like, yep, this is the best game in the series. This is amazing. Fourth game comes out and they make some interesting improvements to the, um, to the gameplay. Like they had already done that a little bit. Um, in like the special edition of the third one, uh, there are some complaints about uh, 
like evading um, maneuverability. And they'd address that a little bit with. Uh... What the? Okay. They're just coming out of there. They address that a little bit with the playable version of. Um... Uh... Virgil. But then the, the, the uh, fourth game comes out. You have Nero, and he plays a lot like Dante, but he has some of the improvements they gave to Virgil. Making him a very fun character to play as. Can I hurt that? No. <laughs> Oops. But then they just made that game so heavy on the backtracking. Like, you... You run to the end of the game fighting all the bosses, and then you take over as Dante and run back to the beginning of the game fighting all the bosses again. And then. That's weird. Then you go into like this giant cavern or cave thing where the final boss is, but before you get to him, you do a boss rush and you fight through all the bosses a third time. So, like, the gameplay is really fun, and some of the levels are pretty cool. But you just... You feel like you're just kind of redoing the same thing over and over again in that game. Is this the final boss? No! Uh, uh, Sarasuke! Help us! Nah, you guys got it. <laughs> I am Fortune Draw. Bib Fortuna? Oh boy. Well, I'll give one attempt at this. So that's big. This guy's a little fan. There, buddy. Oh boy. Uh... said anything about lasers. I wonder how well the gun works against us. Ah! <laughs> we might need to use help. Boy, those are slow. Okay, we're going to use medicine. <laughs>
Did I lose the orb? I think I lost the orb. Oh. Uh, Ow. Oh boy. <laughs> Help. Oh, that's just me. Is that going to be a one hit kill? Yes. Well, too bad I don't have that talisman anymore. All right, this has been a really long episode, so I'm going to save that for the next time. So, hey, my next episode should be the last one. Awesome. But thank you very much for joining me. Hope you had as much fun as I did. Until next time, my dear friends. Until next time.